In an increasingly innovation-led disruptive era, certain chapters shape the future. In this episode of Future of Mobility Season 3, we explore India's electric mobility aspirations accentuated by digital innovation. Beyond a focus on performance, safety and infrastructure, India integrates AI-driven solutions to manage the growing scale of the EV industry. By championing local battery technology development and production and leveraging digital advancements, India aims to reduce imports and lead the global EV arena. This synergy of strategic policies and digital prowess not only propels India's sustainable automotive vision, but also offers a compelling model for nations embracing the electric revolution. So the EV technology is evolving as of now. Uh, it is being now compared to the IC engine technology which has evolved over the years and the expectations are really high. Apart from the battery, then the motor and the power electronics, this also plays a significant role. Differentiating a product is going to be a key ingredient, not only just what uh, comfort it gives or what connections, connectivities it gives, what information it gives. Uh, people want the performance differentiation to come in. So for cost effective solutions, lastly, battery again comes into play. Alternate materials have to come into play, which are more of indigenous source. Economics of scale has to come into effect. Currently, what we are manufacturing, we need some consolidations to happen. We need uh, uh, same one manufacturer of components to make and sell to multiple people so that this can bring in our economics of scales. Localization of technology, here government is playing a major role. They are trying to bring in the PLI incentivization scheme, the FAME scheme where the phased manufacturing program, where the localization is stressed upon. So such activities in the long run is surely going to yield us results. In the evolving realm of EVs, the landscape is progressing at various levels in varying rates. For industries like logistics, the need to explore alternative, more efficient solutions has become paramount. Recognizing the diverse usage patterns of vehicles, a flexible approach to sustainable transport is essential. In the commercial vehicle, the few of the areas particularly will be on if you are looking into moving towards EV or less carbon intense solutions. Fuel cell is one of the key areas that one has to look into or hydrogen IC engine. These are the two areas because uh, the commercial vehicle, the buses, we have the bat EVs that can come in because these are point to point. We understand the routes, charging and all that. But if you look into our trucks and uh, the trucking business, it will not be the logistics business, it will not be that easy. Smaller segments like the 1.5 ton and the commercial vehicles that are used within the city or up to 3.5 tons can still be thought of. But whenever longer routes are all considered, it will not be so easy until and unless some standardization is brought in into certain areas. So there is discussion happening to see that overhead charging for such application can be thought of which are much faster and much safer uh, where the pantograph sort of a mechanisms can be brought in for the commercial vehicle segment where they go in for the long run so this has to now uh, come up for discussions and standardization so there is some initial talks happening in that data plays a crucial role in shaping the future of transportation Recognizing its significance, India is strategically harnessing data-driven insights, particularly in the context of the expanding electric vehicle sector. By utilizing this information, there's potential to refine traffic strategies and gain deeper understanding into vehicle behavior, ensuring smoother transitions to sustainable mobility solutions. 
first let me just highlight that actually is a lot of data out there when it comes to electric mobility in india right so last year in fy23 we actually crossed 1 billion ev registrations for the first time in any any given financial year which means we are actually on track to cross 1.5 billion ev registrations in this ongoing financial year contrast this for example to the number of renewable energy plants that are out there or that get commissioned each year which are probably in the tens or hundreds and this is really important because the more the data out there, the better the analytics, right? So that's point number one. Second is, you know, when we're talking about the electric mobility transition in India, we actually are still at a very nascent stage. So policy plays a very important role. So you have a lot of data and you have a situation where in the case of electric mobility, policy can play a very important role. Data is a very, very important factor in the case of any transportation plan. And that is the base for any any uh, new uh, new uh, the, the planning or whether to improve the existing plan. The EV vehicles, uh, uh, it is possible that uh, the other uh, digital uh, facilities also we can include in the EV uh, buses or EV public EV public transport systems, so that it will be it can be converted to the automated lesson of vehicle systems we can we can convert so that data is required to have a efficient public transportation system in which uh, know the demand from where usually the, the people would like to travel to the destinations and accordingly we will be in a post position to know the quantity of the traffic of the demand and accordingly the traffic management is possible Apart from that, the traffic scenarios and all, the technological advancements that are needed is particularly for building the robustness of our system. The cyber security aspects needs to be looked into seriously and uh, the regulatory measures on cyber security are going to be put into place. How they are implemented or how they are validated is going to be a key to us and we are going to be a putting our own people into that area where they are trained and equipped for the same. Because I see there is a gap in that and we need to have our own mechanisms in place for that. So this is a journey which I believe has to come with a lot of stakeholders and I'm happy to say that the industry will be looking forward to come together to bring together a good solution where we have much safer mobility in the due course of time. In conclusion, India's electric mobility journey, anchored by data and collaboration, promises a future of sustainable transportation. As challenges are met with innovation and collective effort, a safer and more efficient mobility landscape emerges.